Hello, Active Sage here on the Sage channel, and a little old update came out today, or it might be tomorrow, depending on when this video actually gets uploaded. Wasn't exactly expecting them to put out an update really worth showing for quite some time since they were doing patch update fixes. You know, updates in their weekly updates, but Space Engineers pushed something out today really worth showing. Uh, which happens to also be Thanksgiving in the States, hence the reason why this video is coming out possibly really late on the 27th or even on the 28th. Sorry about that guys, wasn't really expecting them to push something out really worth recording, but here it is, now let's get right to it. Now what this update added was a new block, and if I look here at the sixth slot on my bottom bar there, you can see we have a projector, and the projector is a fairly interesting block, sort of at first glance looks like a reactor that's been stripped away, but you'll see that at the top of it, it has this sort of like plus sign here, or cross, and at what I'm assuming is the front of it, it has a little bar up and down. Now this is so you know what sides the front and what sides the sort of well, what side is the top, the projection point, and what side is the front. And this is sort of the same thing. It is as default placement of this. You can see it has it lined up like that, with that line there and the cross on top. Whereas if we have the cockpit, we can go ahead and try to place that and it's lined up the same exact way. So you can sort of think of its placement in the same way as a cockpit, with it, it has a front and a top. Now, what this block does in use is it allows you to place holograms to build off of, or actually blueprints to build off of more specifically. So what you can do is go into your settings, and I can actually access this because I have an antenna from a far away, and I'll select projector one because that's one we're looking at, and you actually select a projector block, and then you can see a bunch of stuff here. Now the first thing you gotta do is click on blueprints, and it'll bring up your blueprint menu. Even in survival this now comes up, and you can see you got all the blueprints you currently have. Let's go ahead and tell it to put Plutos in there. And you can see Plutos has now showed up in a little sort of a holographic form. And of course, at this point, you could just use it as a holographic display to sort of have interesting things on display in your base. Maybe a miniature version of your ship if you had built another version of your larger ship out of small blocks. Because a small block projector can only project small block things, whereas a large block projector, which I have over there in the distance, can only project large block things. I'll demonstrate that just so you can see what the large block one looks like in a minute. Now, of course, if we wanted to start building this, we cannot actually just start building it. If I was to go ahead and get my tools out here, so let's say a torch and a grinder, you can see if I try to build on this, it's not going to work. None of it is working, you see. And if I try grinding it, of course it's not going to work. Now, that's because it needs a connection point to this object here that the projector is on. I don't believe it can be any other object, I believe it has to actually be the one with the projector. So if we were to go ahead and build out here, I'm in creative mode, but remember this works in survival mode. You can see these two blocks right here became a darker color because it's now going to be able to attach to the original block because it can't just create it floating there, which can be slightly unfortunate. And as you can see, I can now start building these. And because I'm in creative mode, they're instantly being created. But if you were in survival mode, these would take longer to build. And if I was to fly away from it, you can see these areas still cannot be built. You have to build it outwards from that center point or that starting point at least. And you can see they build out slowly. Pretty cool stuff. Now, this could be a spot of bother. If, let's say, you didn't want to have to build out a strange thing like this, let's say you had an automated construction yard. And of course, we we'll look at your ship, it's all off kilter, it's a bit strange. Well, that's why I was talking about the top here of this so much earlier, and the one side, is because a lot of this comes down to placement of the blueprint, or at least when you build, built the blueprint, having it built correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and remove some of these, and you can see the blocks that are removed now have the original blueprint still showing up and you see the ones that are still there you cannot continue building from them because now they're counting as two separate ships they're not connected to the original projector anymore so we'll delete those get them out of the way and one of the things you can do to correct a blueprint that doesn't have the center point where you want it is going to actually go into the settings in here so once again we're going to press k we're going to go to the pull down for projector one select projector one that's where all of these come into well, use. It's unfortunate, but I really hope the devs sort this out before they're done with all their fixes and refinements, or actually no, it's not really refinements, so it'll be in probably in the distant future, but having this thing take up your whole screen is a bit of a nuisance. I'd love to have it take up maybe one third of your screen or even be able to move it around, that way you can move it, but you can see there in the background as I click and drag this, you can see the ship being moved and offset. 
It's pretty cool, you can even move it up and down, forward, back, and you can even rotate it, which of course, if you're doing so to build on it, you probably only want to be doing it by 90 degrees, or else it's probably not going to line up at all because it won't be able to snap to the grid that your projector's on. So you could line it up that way. Another way you could do it is, of course, to have, take your blueprint, so we got Bluto Plutos here, paste Plutos down, and if we were to go ahead, press K, go to Info, so again, K, bring this screen up, go to Info, and we have Show Grid Pivot, which works in survival as well as creative, and you don't have to have antennas on, I checked that, it seems like it just works for anything. You see our pivot point here is right here next to this thruster, sort of hovering in mid-air here, which is where, when we originally placed this down, so let's go ahead and turn that projector in here off and back on, so off and back on, it clears whatever it was projecting, and then we'll actually go ahead and once again select a projector and then tell it to place Plutos. You can see that, oh well, it's kept the memory of what I originally had, but if I was to go ahead and tell it to place something else, so Blueprint and Star Skipper. Oh wait, no, no, it's not kept the memory, silly me. Again, I. I forgot there that turning on and off doesn't reset everything. As you can see, we still have the settings in here set to the little tiny bits I offset them. But so if you can see, if I was just to actually set this back to Plutos now, it would be the starting point just here where the projector is matches up with the alignment point here. Now, if you want to change that alignment point, what the devs suggest doing is doing a create new small ship if you're trying to align it for a small ship and now you can see we have a point right here for this one and what we can do for that is we can basically delete this and this one's here point is right down here so we can go ahead and line it up perfectly so we have a block or oh, oh oh no didn't mean to export that but what we can do is line that up so we have a block right there and now what we can do to make this line up with that better is delete it and we're going to delete it from that specific block there and paste it in right Actually, let's go ahead and lower this down one more. So place it in right here. Come on. Oh, I'm in the way. My apologies. There. And now this whole thing's point is lined up like that. So if we were to aim it and do a control B on it, we're going to have a small ship, which is Plutos, but it's unnamed for some reason. Apparently my blueprint wasn't exactly ideal. And now when we set this up, you're going to see that your blueprint is lined up slightly better. So let's go in here, grab the small ship version of Plutos I just did. And now you can see it's lined up specifically where that one block was with the whole thing. Pretty cool stuff. And I guess, you know, if you've got a lot of ships that you want to be really ready for automated construction like this, you're gonna have to go ahead and grab those and get them working. Now, another thing that we do have to show, and let's go ahead and press K right here. And remember, you can do what I just did there with large ships as well, is just the fact that these do project in strange ways. So or at different angles and the projections can move. So let's go ahead, take this, let's find our projector. Let's tell it to project, oh, something small. Well, that's kind of big, but let's go ahead and use that anyway. So this huge thing, and now you can see it's projecting that and it's also turned on the rotor apparently, possibly a gravitational offset is, well, I say gravitational, possibly it's, its center of mass is a bit weird. Let's go ahead and actually turn on the rotors on this one now. And so rotor one on and rotor two on. So yeah, it wasn't on. But now you can see that it is a flailing large hologram, which looks a bit silly. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Pretty dang interesting, though, nonetheless. But, and indeed, you can't see. It even casts shadows. A bit strange for a hologram, but who knows? I guess it kind of makes sense in a way. It's semi-solid light, and you see the light reflecting off of it. So of course it's going to cast a shadow of some sort. Anyway, that's pretty cool stuff there. And as you can see, you can have a way to place holograms however you like. You can make interesting displays with these that can move through things, light shafts, all sorts of clever stuff. And then, of course, we come over here to more demonstrating of just how these are displaying the holograms. I'm going over a lot because it can be a spot of bother if you don't think it through properly when first placing these little buggers. So I'm going to go ahead and activate all three of these real quick. And there we go. Got all three on with three different star skippers. And you can see they've all been merged together in a nightmare mesh fairly interesting you see my frame rate or you might not be able to tell it but before i put that big ship in that's spinning about we were getting around 60 frames per second when we put the big ship in it dropped down to around 40 48 ish sometimes bouncing up in the 50s and now with these three in it's dropping all the way down around the 30s oh it just shot back up to 60 fairly strange not exactly sure what's causing it let's see let's just do a test here 
might be helpful. No, it's fine. Looks like it's actually pretty fine. We're around 60 again. Looks like... I don't know why, but all of a sudden this asteroid seems to be causing the trouble, I could guess. Let's see. Asteroid, 30 frames per second, and it's gone up to 60. Very strange, so look out. Looks like asteroids are slightly unstable currently. They've probably been like that for a while. Anyway, one last thing, or a few last things to show, is that you can indeed use these welder thingies to go ahead and build stuff. So let's go ahead and copy this thing and maneuver it over here. And we'll be able to place this in, and it'll actually start building these, so you could have your own shipyard all ready to go with just some of these nonsensical things. Now, of course, if I place this in here like this, you can see it instantly starts building stuff around it, but of course, one problem... <laughs> one problem is because we have so many of those stuck in there, I think it might have actually started building a few separate ships, possibly. Really hard to tell. Looks like it might have just started with one. But if I was to go ahead and now delete this, and let's go ahead and turn off all those projectors, you might notice a spot of bother, where if I was to shut down projector 2 and projector 3, now we have one fairly unfinished and slightly wonky ship where we do indeed have some parts facing the wrong way. Now, a funny thing is, though, you can have a projector in your ship that's pretty much constantly on. Now, mind you, the second a projector is done building something, like every single block is being done, the projector automatically clears what it had in its memory. So, if your ship is damaged, you want to have it, a projector permanently inside, just reprojecting this image for whatever reason, or so you can easily go into a repair bay and it'll automatically repair whatever's missing. You, well, you couldn't quite do that without resetting the image in the projector itself inside your ship, but you could theoretically do so. Pretty cool stuff, though. Pretty damn cool. Anyway, guys, that's it about it for this update. Babylon a little bit more than I had hoped, but eh, whatever. You get the gist, hopefully, of all this stuff. It's pretty damn cool, and, well, just the idea of having holograms displayed just for the fact of having holograms displayed, even though that's not the main purpose of this update. It's for blueprints, so you can blueprint your ships and have machines build them, which is pretty cool. But the holograms surprisingly get me slightly more excited than I expected. Anyway, guys, got a lot of ships to redo, I guess, when it comes to finding their... What do they actually call this here? I believe they called it something silly. Show grid pivot. Yeah, they call it grid pivot, which is a bit scary because you'd expect every time you copy and paste something, suddenly it would rotate from that original pivot, but it really still rotates wherever you control C it from. As you can see now, it's rotating it from the bottom. But, I don't know. Grid pivot, there you go. I guess it probably rotates from that pivot when you originally paste them in. Like, let's say, if I was to paste in Plutos again. Actually, no, the special Plutos, because we know where its pivot is for sure. Nope, its pivot looks to be sort of at its center of mass. So, I don't know. Bit strange. Anyway, guys, that's it. Pretty cool. One last thing to show I should show is that the large ship ones do indeed work, and they'll project humongous holograms over everything so let's just do that really quickly with this crazy nonsensical ship right here there we go small bit of lag and you see its pivot point was sort of in the middle so you'd be building out from the middle of that ship but yeah there we go works on small ships works on big ships of all sorts of size Whew, could take some time anyway guys thanks so much for watching hope this was enjoyable and informative i would encourage you to subscribe if you did like it and, uh, well, yeah, that's really it. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I shall see you next time.